Hey guys, Gossip and Reactions Mistake story from Yahoo Finance. It says, I get to say I told you so. The average American plans to spend $1,652 on holiday shopping, surpassing pre-pandemic levels. Here's why you should start early to dodge festive debt. Inflation doesn't seem to be casting as much of a bar humbug poor this holiday season with americans seemingly punching back to splurge on gift with renewed festive glee in fact shoppers plan on spending an average 1652 this season a 14 percent jump from last year and surpassing pre-pandemic levels for the first time according to a recent report from Deloitte. Although inflation shows sign of moderating, consumers have come to expect higher price prices and are adjusting their holiday spending accordingly, say Nick Hendrinos, vice chairman and leader of retail and consumer products at Deloitte, according to a press release. We expect to see shoppers make the list and check them twice for deals, but a return to pre-pandemic spending levels shows promise for the season overall. Here's how on TikTok, mom keeps a hand on her holiday spending and how you can avoid financial fallout from your festive plans this year. There are a few factors contributing to the project rise and spending this holiday season high price across the board means that shoppers will likely need to sell out more for these things but shoppers may not finally be able to weather these higher prices a little better than they used to a still strong job market is continued to pump up salaries with wages climbing 4.2 percent from last year according to the most recent data from the bureau of labor statistics this growth currently outspace inflation with inflation adjusted average hourly wage rising 0.5 percent in september from a year earlier according to the labor department despite what seems like a constant drumbeat of negative news rising interest rate Persistently high inflation and more consumers remain resilient and the positive outlook for this year's holiday shopping season is a testament to the continued strength in the labor market with wage growth outpacing inflation. Cecilia Sadin, Vice President of TransUnion's Retail Business said in a press release. Some shoppers are starting early. Long gone are the days where stores wouldn't start hanging up the bells and the bar until Black Friday. Some major retailers like Walmart, Best Buy, and Target kicked off their sales in early October, while Amazon recently held a fall follow-up its regular July Prime Day event. It's really, it really is this vicious cycle. Jizan, a professor of marketing at the University of Maryland, recently told the Washington Post, everybody tries to beat their competitors, be the first to be on the market for holiday sales, and it just pushes everyone to be earlier and earlier. But shoppers can benefit from starting early and spreading their shopping over a longer period of time one mom who goes by the vlasman family on tiktok posted a video in september showing off her gift haul which includes things like a play-doh donuts making set a poly pocket play set and a pokemon smartwatch i start my christmas shopping in june she says I have four kids to shop for, so I have to start early, okay? Everyone always 
says i am crazy but when they are two weeks into december complaining they broke and overwhelmed i get to say i told you so she would in response to a comment one on the video she's far from the only one with a transunion survey conducted in august revealing 22 percent of households what children have already begun their holiday shopping these are multiple benefits to starting your holiday shopping early like spreading out your hole over several months instead of racking up the bills within a single month and it allows you more times to compare prices and find deals let's give more hunting shoppers are making they lie they list and checking them twice for deal and discounts determined to have a fun and memorable holiday season without digging themselves into a deep debt hole or the some worry they won't be able to rain and they shopping to stay within budget the Deloitte report also finds consumers are adapting their spending strategies to balance higher prices with their fiscal goals. For example, shoppers are planning to cut down on the number of gifts they are buying this year with the average number of going to 8 this year from 9 in 2022. Many also plan to increase the number of gift cards as a hedge against inflation, giving the fixed amount. About two-thirds of shoppers say they intend to do some shopping during the Black Friday to Cyber Monday week in order to snag some deals as well. As you embarked on your own annual shopping spree, if you haven't already, look around online on stores to compare prices and ensure you are getting the best deal available. Some online service make it effortless for you to price check every item in your listing could potentially save you hundreds of dollars. I'll tell you guys, there was more into the story, but I don't have time to finish it. Let me tell you guys something. When the holiday comes it's about love, appreciation, care for each other give an expensive gift cheap gift it just doesn't make sense to me you give the kids what they need not what they want i have seen people spend thousands of dollars and gift for kids they play with it once and throw it away why are you wasting money and time why are you trying so hard to keep up with the joneses it just doesn't make sense to me uh, some people don't even have the cash available but they sacrifice themselves to, to take a loan to use credit cards that are gonna make them pay twice or three times the value of the toy why do you have to do it so hard i have seen from kids from three to five that could play with a dollar store toy because they really don't know what is it for they play with it once throw it away or smash it down and i have seen parents spend thousands of dollars in stupid toy and then the child don't even care for the toy think about it think about it hard the consequences the what's to come later on after you get those gifts most of the time people don't even care for that you would have to pay for again subscribe and let me know how you feel the average american is already planning to spend 1652 dollars on holiday gift and i don't even know how they're going to pay for it if they having a hard time paying for the bills for the rent and everything else subscribe let me know how you feel bye